Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out another pick and roll video. I am Steve. This video is for anybody who is thinking about starting to get into selling books. Whether if you want to do it on eBay, um, most likely it would be on Amazon, whether it's Merchant Fulfilled or FBA, meaning you send it in and Amazon does the shipping and the customer service for you. There are things, just like in any business, that you will need to be able to source your books, to prepare your books, to ship your books. So I'm going to show you the tools you need, the approximate cost of what they are to get started by making some money selling books. All right, guys, I'm going to make this real simple, basic, and try to do this quick for you. Okay, start scanning. You're going to need some sort of app. You can use FBA scan, but the latest and greatest thing now is it's called Scout IQ. It's a downloadable app. It costs $44 a month and you get a live version as well as the database. Now that's good because the database, and it's just a faster reaction compared to the cheaper version, which I'm not sure the price could be $20 range, but all it gives you is a live version, which is gonna be a slower response. And if you're in a building, say like a big library, and you lose signal, you're out of luck, you're not gonna be able to scan. So $44 a month, Scout IQ. Gives you all the needed information to make the right choices on which books to choose to send the FBA. Okay, you're also gonna need a scanner. I use the Opticon 2006. This runs about $199. It is a little pricey, but it's well worth it, basically for the convenience of size. Fits discreetly in your hand, scan your books. You know, if you feel uncomfortable, people don't even see it, don't even know what you're doing. There is another one that is on the market um, called the E-Yo-Yo, E-Y-O-Y-O. -Y -O. It runs about $35 to $40. It's about the size of a garage door opener. Does the same thing, scans barcodes. And it's Bluetooth, so it'll go back the information to your cell phone. Basically, it's a lot cheaper, but you're paying for the size convenience with this one. This just plugs in USB right to your laptop to charge. Same with the E-Yo-Yo. I actually have a, um, I'll put at the end of this links to both videos where I review the different scanners, okay? Now that's going to allow you, the app and the scanner, to choose your books while you're sourcing. Now you got your books home. Some people don't clean their books. I will if they're gunked up. A lot of them just have stuff on it. And a lot of it can be removed. If that's the case, I use Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. The paper books that have the paper cover, um, you can't use any wetness. So you can try this dry. The ones that have that high gloss finish on the, the jacket, you can give a little mist of spray on this and it will wipe it clean. You can give a quick wipe on each side. Books, you have your books home, they're cleaned. You wanna put them into your shipping plan. Basically, if you don't have another scanner, you have to enter every ISBN number. I did that the first time with my first shipment. Never again. Buy yourself a scanner. Comes with this base, it has two modes, automatic, where it'll stay on all the time. And you just pass your book underneath it, like if you were scanning something at the store, okay? You can take it off your base, and you go handheld with the trigger, and just scan your ISBN number. Put your cursor, this is when you're creating your shipment, and you want to price your book. Put your cursor, and you scan your ISBN number, and boom, your information will pop up for the book. It will save you time. This one is a combination. You can use it with the, you plug in the wire that comes with it and plug it into your laptop or you can go wireless and it comes with a little dongle that just plugs into your laptop. I believe this cost me like $20. Well worth it. It will save you an immense amount of time when you're entering in your inventory. Prepping your books, you need to label them. You need to create new barcode labels that will be generated through your shipment plan. And Avery, 30 ups, 750 labels in this pack. It's the 8160. I think this costs like eight to $10 range. And there's 30 labels. 
on a sheet. You put this in your printer. I still use an old DeskJet HP. Um, having made the investment to go like Dymo, you can either get the Dymo XL, 4XL, or the smaller that just prints the, these labels. This works fine. You'll need the 30 ups. Now, once you have that entered and you create your shipping plan, you're going to want to box up according to what Amazon tells you. You can get boxes anywhere. Um, if you have a source at local stores where you get them for free, whether you want a dumpster dive or whatever be the case, if not, you can go to Lowe's or a Home Depot. You're going to use either the small or the medium sizes. The large you will never need with books because there's a 50 pound weight limit. And with books, to even come close to filling the large, you'll be way over limit. So the small or the mediums. And then they come in either heavy duty or regular. I have used a regular and filled it with 45 pounds and had no issues. Um, you can make that decision if you don't feel secure with that. Go into heavy duty. They run anywhere from a dollar to a dollar fifty depending on which box you get. Now you got your items in the box. You're going to want to tape them up. You're going to need a tape gun. Which if you've been a seller on eBay already, you already have one. I suggest going with a three inch tape. Okay? It's less passes, less tape. Gun with tape might run you 15, 20 bucks. Okay? Once you have that, now you got to weigh your box. You need a scale with a corded readout. Okay? You cannot use one of these scales because you will not be able to see the screen because the boxes are pretty big for books. Okay? So you need one with the corded readout. This scale by Smartway, I think it has a 110 pound capacity and I think it ran like $35. After that, when you want to label your boxes, which is going to have two labels, one for FedEx or US, UPS, whichever you choose, and there'll be another barcode label that is for Amazon to scan it in. For that, you can just use the, the regular shipping labels that come two per page. Then you just bring them, either have to do a UPS pickup, you can drop them off at FedEx. Most Walgreens have a FedEx drop-off. Go to the photo booth, photo counter. They will scan them in. You give your email, they'll send you a receipt. And FedEx, I have one right around the corner. And FedEx does a daily pickup. Very convenient. For your convenience, I put links down below to all of these items so you can research them. If you need to purchase them, you make your choice. And that's it, guys. Not much to it. Um, those are the basic tools of what you'll need to get started selling books. It's a low entry cost. You might spend, depending on which scanner you go with, that's the biggest cost. You could go with a $30, $40 one or a $200. Um, so for a couple hundred bucks, you're in the game. Books cost usually from anywhere from 50 cents to $3 in the thrift stores. If you go to a library sale, you can pick them up for a quarter to 50 cents. And you can triple your money per, you know, on the low end. If you got buy a dollar book, the low end profit, you might make $3, you know, and then who knows what, you can make $5, $10 per book or more on some of them. So there's money to be made. You got to put in the grind and get out there and scan a lot of books. Today, I scanned just over 900 books and brought home 24. I haven't um, rescanned them to see what kind of profit it shows for total. Took about a little over two hours to scan that many for me. But that's it, guys. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of other ones like this that try to help other people. From what I know, I'm still learning, always learning, but I like to help what I, share what I know. Hit that like button or the dislike button, whatever you want. Thanks for watching. See you later.